Where I come from, maps and borders has always been a very uh, difficult and sensitive subject to approach and to countries to deal with. And also coming to the UK as an immigrant, I was facing it from a different side. So while working about maps, I was researching a lot of the way that artists express the map of the world, visual artists. And I was also working a lot with uh, my father, who is a cartographer, and how you write maps in scale, how you portrait the whole world in one frame. I was fascinated by that. I always really think of my work as a tool to communicate something that is bigger than the work. And I really wanted to create a community around it and to have more creative minds that can add the aspect of it. It's really exciting for me to work with artists who are interested in the subject of migration. There are so many things that we can learn through a combination of philosophy and art. I think that the idea of living in a world without political borders is a beautiful desire. What we try to do in maps and active maps is to practice it. Practice what it means when you remove the border. While removing the borders, you basically get reattached to the essence of the place. When we discuss in the political map and you see how it's easily been moved around, it takes you back a little, understanding that the, the, the powers that define borders are to do with the political side of things rather than my home, your home. When we're talking about freedom of movement, it's really interesting to actually see and hear and feel movement in action, to see the work through the movement of bodies. What does it mean to have to leave one's home? In what sense might a country feel like home or not feel like home? In what sense can we think about the whole planet as a home? So often we talk and we listen, but actually when we move, when we do visual work, uh, when we listen to music and so on, it helps us to connect with different types of knowledges, different ways of communicating. What I enjoyed about my experience today was being able to be free through movement because that's not very natural for me. And also the idea that you can be an individual and be in a truly connected collective. There is a lot of importance in collaboration, especially with this work we've, we've worked with researchers, academics, um, different forms of artists that is really precious and a place where we can grow from because often I think you can just grow in your field whereas when we cross over into different practices, when we remove the boundaries of practice, when we stop saying I'm a creative, you're an academic, when really academia is incredibly creative, that moment is, it, you go to a, a, another place.